Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at the ultra popular 2022 Surveyor Legend Model 252 RBLE. This particular trailer comes in at 5,066 pounds as we see it here equipped today and is going to be 29 feet 3 inches in overall length. We're going to do an interior and exterior walk around video tour today and talk about some of the awesome features such as the outside kitchen, the completely carpetless nature of this trailer, the 60 by 80 true queen bed, standard solar package, and all of the great storage and space that you get in this under 30 foot couples camper. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on to the inside. All right, guys, so we're on the inside of this 2022 Surveyor Legend. 252 RBLE. So as you can see here, I'm actually standing in the doorway to the bedroom. And if you come out, you know, first thing in the morning, this is the view you're going to be greeted with. So as we start over here in the slide out, you can see that you've got a booth dinette, lots of big windows around the dinette. And the Nice thing is the slide in windows do open for airflow. I really wish this big picture window there would open for airflow as well. Now this is gonna be a completely carpetless trailer. So one of the really neat things is they got rid of the, the carpet in the slide out for 2022 and a half is what I'm gonna call it, which is about uh, the end of March of this year. Now, if we take a look at the video that will pop up, you can see that this will turn into a decent bed for a couple of guests. You've got that modern looking dinette light, and then you've got an amber accent light above the slide out too, which just gives it a nice little glow. It's nothing over the top crazy. I really like it myself. Now, as we spin back over here, you can see that you have got the standard trifold sleeper sofa. Uh, there is a theater seat option available as well. We normally bring this in with the theater seats. This is actually not our preferred build, but they had one, we needed one, so we took it. Um, but as you can see, if we take a look at the video here, this can also turn down into a very nice bed for a couple of guests. So in, in this couple's trailer, you can sleep four to six, depending on the size of folks. I really like that cross breeze window over here, directly across from the entry door. Um, and then right next to the sofa, back over here, and it's kind of hard to see, but you can see that you've got household and USB plugs right there on, on that little countertop there. You're also going to have cup holders in the sofa, which is kind of a nice touch to be able to, uh, you know, set a drink and such. And then all of this is going to be pressed membrane thermofoil style countertops. So you can see that you've got kind of a live edge on your dinette top, as well as your entertainment center top. And we'll take a look at the entertainment center in a little more depth here in just a moment. Every surveyor is going to be about seven feet tall on the inside. These are incredibly tall. Um, so if, you know, if you're six, four, six, five, and you're looking for a really tall travel trailer, this may be a very good option for you. Now, every surveyor is going to feature a 15,000 BTU Coleman Q series air conditioner standard. Uh, I like that they just give you the bigger air. You don't have to option that in. And one of the things you will not see in any surveyor is in-floor ducted heat. They use cabinet ducted heating, which it is a little bit less efficient than in-floor ducted heating, but it makes it so much easier to clean. And you can see one of those ducts right there underneath the refrigerator. Now, if we go and we take a seat at the sofa, you can see that you are directly across from the entertainment center. And that is a huge feature that a lot of people are really looking for 
uh, in this trailer or really in any trailer is, you know, that they're not having a 90 degree neck crank to see the TV. Now, you also have good seat, uh, good visibility of the TV from this side of the dinette. And I'll show you what that looks like as well, just uh, for sake of uh, thoroughness, I guess. So you can see this is from the dinette here. If you're seated in this seat over here, you're not really going to be able to see the TV at all. And then if we scoot to the inside seat of the dinette, you can still see the TV from here too, which is really nice. I really do like that. It's a very well-placed uh, entertainment center. Now, I know somebody's going to ask, is there ability to have a fireplace? And unfortunately, in the Legend series... There is not. So you get cabinetry instead. If you're looking for something like this with a fireplace, I will, as soon as we get a 267 RBSS Grand Surveyor, I will uh, be doing a video on that. But I'll also link it to this video as well so you can go see something with a fireplace, little, you know, step up and trim package. Now, right here, you are going to have an AM, FM, and Bluetooth stereo system. TVs are actually an option. That is a 30, I want to say it's a 39-inch TV. It may be a 32, though. But uh, I really like that they make TVs an option. So if somebody wants to order one without the TV, they can definitely do that. Just save a couple hundred bucks. Now, before we get to the kitchen, I do want to talk about the control panels. So you've got your solar charge controller right here for your 80 watt standard solar package. You're also going to have your awning slide out and lighting controls here. And then you've got your on off switch for the WineGuard Air 360 Plus antenna system. So the cool thing with that is it is prepped for uh, the easy addition of a Wi-Fi hotspot. And if you're interested in learning more about that, please give us a call. Uh, our parts department can walk you through that. Um, this is kind of new. I'm not as familiar with it as I should be, but it, you can easily do that. We've had a couple of customers do that so far. But without further ado, let's go ahead now. Let's open up all this storage and take a look at the kitchen and living area storage. Because I'm telling you, for a 39 foot, or nope, nope, nope. 29 foot trailer there we go uh this has got just a really good kitchen and storage space it's it's one of the best i have ever seen okay guys so i've got all the storage open and starting up here you've got good storage above your sofa now all of this cabinetry is going to be pocket screwed cabinetry so if you feel right here where these two pieces of wood come together there's actually going to be a screw that connects the two pieces of wood which is more of a higher end cabinetry you can also see that these are strut supported cabinets when they flip up like this, which is always a good feature. Keeps you from having to juggle the door and whatever you're putting in the cabinet. Now underneath the dinette, you've got their easy access dinette storage. Now, this is a really good feature. I do like it, but I wish they would put doors on the end as well. That way, if you don't want to take the whole dinette apart, you can get to smaller stuff. Or if you need to put, you know, bigger bulk cases of water or something like that in there, you can do it this way. Let me know what you think about that. Um, and we can definitely pass that along if that's something that you'd like to see. Now, you've got a little bit of storage underneath the TV. Uh, perfect for some DVDs or books and things of that sort. Now, if we go over here to the kitchen, you've got a very nice chunk of overhead cabinetry space. Now you can see they kind of do the little glass panel to break up the wood look. But good storage there. You've got all press membrane thermofoil style countertops. Nice big uh, stainless farm style sink. There is another little half cover. Um, I guess I forgot to ship it, but we will definitely get you one if you decide to take this one home. You've got really good space underneath the sink. I wish they would take one of the shelves out of there uh, so you could put in a trash can, but I'll show you there's an even better 
spot for a trash can here in just a minute. You've got three uh, full extension plywood box, ball bearing drawer guided drawers. And I really like this big oversized kitchen window. Now, campsite windows are a little bit lacking. You've got the one in the bedroom there. I wish this door had a uh, window in the entry door as well. Now, if we take a knee, you can see you've got dual sets of household outlets there. Now, I know somebody's going to say they want them in the sidewall. And because this is an inch and a half thick sidewall, they really can't do that. The wall's not thick enough to be able to uh, put the outlets in the sidewall. You've got your three burner cooktop with the oven down below in case you want to do some baking. Blue lights and the light in the oven. Glass cooktop cover. You've got your microwave and hood range combo up here. And then back in here, this is a really neat feature. You've got a utensil holder right here, and it is Surveyor branded. And then you've got a knife block. So that, that actually is not a vent. That's for your knives. It's really cool. It's an old school feature, but I really like that they're doing that again. Right here, you've got your 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator. The nice thing about this, this will work off of the solar panels, uh, or the solar panel or panels if you upgrade. And this will work all the time when you're going down the road. A lot of states are starting to make it where you can't run gas and electric refrigerators on propane while you're going down the road. And then over here, You've got a massive pantry, motion sensor light there too, by the way, which is very nice. Great amount of storage space there. You could easily put a trash can down here on the floor too. Uh, that is a really nice thing. And something that's kind of funny, they put a locking door or a locking um, doorknob on here. So that is, it's kind of silly, but uh, that's what they do. So, all right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the kitchen and living area storage. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bathroom now. Okay, guys, so as we go into the bathroom, first thing you'll notice, you've got a porcelain foot flush lever toilet. Sliding pocket door here, too, by the way. You've got a decent size sink. Little small countertop space. You know, you're, um, you could always kind of make a sink top cover for this if you really need the countertop space. You're going to have your GFI protected outlet here. Your tank monitoring panel with your water pump and water heater on gas and electric sides. And then right here, this is a cool option. We don't typically bring these in very much, but it's a nice uh, change. Is this has the Arctic package with the 12 volt tank heaters. You've got great storage space down there for some extra linens or toilet paper or something. Medicine cabinet. You are going to have the toothbrush holder. In there as well. Nice sized shower. I believe that's a 30 by 36. It may be a 24 by 36. I haven't measured it, uh, but it's one of those two. Now, this is where I think the taller sidewalls really help, considering I'm about 6'2, 6 6'3, 6 and I don't have to stand in the bubble. Now, I really like where they put that skylight. It's right underneath the shower head, so if you are taller, you can easily use it. You also have the slow close shower door, which is a really cool feature. You're gonna have some towel hooks up here. And then over here, you just have a m -m -m mega closet, or you could use this for linen cabinet. Um, let me know what you think about this. Is Would you like to see this spooking open like this? Or would you like to see half of this closet, half of this shelved storage? I'd be curious to know what people think. Um, I could see it either way, to be completely honest with you. And I like that both of these doors have the big mirrors. So with that being said, let's go ahead now and we'll jump up to the bedroom and take a look at that. All right, guys. So as we head up into the bedroom... One thing I forgot to point out is here's where your thermostat for your heat and air conditioner is. You've also got your light switch out here for the bedroom lights, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if I like that, but that's where they put it. 
You've got a pocket privacy door here for the bedroom. Now, every surveyor is going to have a 60 by 80 residential queen size bed. So you can actually upgrade the mattress to something that, you know, fits your personal preferences. Now, if we lift this up, You can see that you've got a great amount of storage underneath there. And I've got the microwave box with some extra goodies that come with the trailer uh, down in there. So you can see kind of a, you know, what how much space is in there. You're going to have cross breeze windows on both sides of the bed. They both do open. All your windows are going to have these light colored pleated nightshades that don't really block out any light. I would really like to see darker colored shades in these. You've got another one, another window up there. Up top, you've got some cargo net storage, which is a really neat feature, um, rather than just a shelf like some other brands in this price bracket are doing. You've got great hanging closets, drawer on each side of the bed, heat and air conditioner ducts in here. If you do want to add a TV, you've got the backer right here, plus the connections there to be able to do that. And then you've got a simple vent over here as well. So now one of the really cool things about this is since you've got lights right next to it, you could easily put in a larger vent fan or something like that. Now this is not 50 amp. You can't put an air conditioner there. It really doesn't need it in the first place anyway. But you could put a larger exhaust fan there if you wanted to. You got household and USB outlets on both sides of the bed. Front windshield up here. And then up here behind the wardrobe, you've got a nice little spot for a CPAP machine uh, with a cup holder. And then if we look over on this side, you've got some hidden storage. And there's actually a household plug down there, which is really cool for CPAP machines, alarm clocks, phone chargers, portable fans, things of that sort. So I really do like that. And there's a better look at that pocket privacy door. But with that being said, before we jump onto the outside, let's close this slide out out, or up, slide out up. There we go. And let's take a look at it in road mode. Okay guys, so with the slide out closed, you can see you've got a very nice size walkway to get back here to the bathroom, pantry, and refrigerator. So you can see this is where the slide out ends. So you can easily get to all of this back here. You can get to the pantry, refrigerator, freezer, all of your kitchen space. You do lose access to that sofa and the TV and the storage beneath the TV. But I don't think you're going to be uh, watching TV on a travel stop in the first place. And then up here you can get to the bedroom obviously. So this one is going to be totally turtle friendly. All right, guys, we're on the outside of this 252 RBLE surveyor. Now, I apologize for some wind noise. This dealership that I work at is in West Texas, and we are always, always windy. So up front here, you've got a power tongue jack standard. You're going to have two 20 pound propane tanks got a spot for your batteries and your battery disconnect there. This little guy here is a seven-way plug holder to keep that out of the lead. And then you've got a safety chain hookup or a uh, leash latch. Now you can see this is a fiberglass unit. You've got your front windshield. This also is an Asdale product. So Asdale is a green based material that is rot molded and waterproof. And uh, it also has twice the insulation value and is half the weight of the Luon that they normally use. Now down here, you've got your four corner stabilizer jacks. Those are gonna be manual. You've got a great pass through storage, aluminum framed construction on all your bed bases. These are aluminum cage walls. You've got a motion sensor light and a three quarters jack bit, which is really nice as well. 
You can also see up underneath here, this is a fully enclosed and forced air heated underbelly, which is great for extended season and four season use. Now you've got a very nice sized power awning, friction hinge entry door, triple more ride step above steps. You've also got a handy little light in the steps, which is really cool. That awning is going to have LED lights in it, as well as you've got an amber porch light and backlit LED speakers. This is a tandem axle. So I really like these black aluminum wheels they're using. And then again, this is an Asdell product. And this particular one again has the, whoops, apparently there's a, uh, There we go. Apparently my camera is doing something stupid. Um, this does have the Arctic package on it as well. Here is your furnace exhaust. You've got cable and power if you didn't want to do an outside TV. And then right here is your small outside kitchen. So you've got a little dump sink that will go in here. The box in the front pass-through storage is your propane griddle that will sit here. And then you've got an outside mini fridge and a cold water spray port. Now as we come along to the back you've got another optional piece of equipment that we don't normally bring in but I think we might start doing that. This has the rear bike rack or travel rack whatever you want to call it and this is where your spare tire goes. Now the nice thing about this this has a 250 pound weight capacity You've got a ladder to get up onto the one-piece PVC roof, backup camera prep, all LED tail and marker lights. And then over here, you're gonna have your 30 amp service, city water, black tank flush and cable and satellite hookups. You've also got your termination valves right here. Now, one thing I really do like is that Surveyor keeps them tucked up close to the underbelly, which is very nice. Now, you can see I've got the slide out still closed on here. So, this is what this looks like. Every slide out is prepped for the Solaris slide awning toppers. And then up here, you're going to have your six gallon gas and electric water heater, the other side of your storage, and your fresh water inlet. So with that being said guys, that's going to wrap it up for the 2022 Surveyor Legend Model 252 RBLE. If you're interested in this particular trailer and you would like pricing and availability, I will put a link in the video description where you can check that at any time. You can also give us a call at 806-335-2336 or you can shoot us an email at contact at custom-rv.com. Work with me personally and you're interested in purchasing this particular trailer again my name is Corey I'm the sales manager here at Custom RV you can reach me directly at my cell phone number which is area code 806-382-6274 and I'm happy to give any purchase details or uh, answer any questions that you may have so with that being said guys remember at Custom RV we don't do any hidden dealer fees we leave those up to the big box dealers. And we know that RVs are made for women, so men can go camping. If you could do me a favor before you head out, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe and notification bell down below. We're at 1,320 subscribers right now. I would really love to be able to get to about, or as close to 2,000 by the end of this year as we possibly can. So if you could help me out with that, I would really appreciate it. So, all right, guys, again, that's going to wrap it up. We thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed. We hope to see you out on our lot or hear from you very soon. And have a wonderful rest of your day.